Well, moving on to a health alert, a local mother in Region 8 Office of Public Health, among other officials, joined forces earlier this evening to spread awareness about the state's drug epidemic. NBC 10's Valerie Maravi reports. A mother willing to make a change because she lost her daughter to fentanyl overdose. Now she's here on a mission to make that happen. My daughter is gone because of this, but if I stay silent, it's just going to escalate. We have to come together as a community and as parents and loved ones to let everybody know how much their loved one mattered. They didn't want to die and that we need to do something to combat this. Lily Harvey's daughter, Millie Mattered, was found dead in a park in Alexandria in 2017. Without support for parents that experienced this type of loss, she became the advocate and support of many grieving families. So I stepped out and I held my first overdose awareness day in the very park at the very place that she lost her life. And where she died is where Millie Mattered Overdose and Addiction Advocacy was birthed. The awareness walk included over 20 banners with more than 400 faces of young people lost to this epidemic. Betsy Mullins lost her 38-year-old son from fentanyl overdose. He was in recovery and relapsed. God spoke to me and he said, hold him a little longer, a little tighter. And as I did, I whispered to him, I love you and I'm so proud of you. And he had accomplished so very much in his sobriety time. Over 1,800,000 people died from fentanyl overdose in the state of Louisiana alone, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Opioid Use Disorder Prevention Manager with the Northeast Delta Human Services Authority, Kerry ATN says the center provides opioid overdose treatment medications. It will reverse the effects of an opioid-related overdose if administered in time, and that is prescription pain meds, heroin, and also fentanyl, which is wreaking havoc in our communities. Lily Harvey's mission is for Louisiana state officials to apply the Millie's Law Bill, which will increase penalties for the unlawful distribution or dispensing of heroin or fentanyl. Millie, we loved you, you were loved, and you are making a difference. The Opioid Awareness Walk will be visited in over 15 cities across the state and will make a last stop at the state capitol in Baton Rouge on April 2nd. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Valerie Moravi for your Oklahoma's News Source. In other